And now, coming to you live from downtown Jackson, Volcano's 104th resident and host of LOL, Ed Tracy! Welcome to Laugh Out Loud. My name is Ed Tracy. Nedrin Julio, everybody. Yeah. No height requirement for the show today. <laughs> and she's standing on something, too, which is great. Show 11, everybody. Show 11. Yeah. Longest running show on TSPN. I'd like to thank all five of you for coming out today. So, uh, big show today. We got a lot of fun stuff going on. My uh, guest host today from Jackson Rancheria, Bailey Burton, everyone. Yeah. We do CrossFit together. <laughs> we do. We do. We're very strong. We pay to get beat up. <laughs> we do. Mary Wheat from Rugged Edge CrossFit beats the crap out of us every day. Uh, Corey Robinson is our comic today. Give it up for Corey. He's out there. Uh... Of course, Ned Nedra and Julio will be playing some music for us. And we're going to be playing <laughs> beer pong on TV. Ooh. Can't yeah. wait. Can't wait. Because I'm Irish. And that's how we do things. So... <laughs> Uh, so how we start our show every every Friday is we we uh, have people send in jokes and today I decided I was gonna uh, compile all the jokes from the people that are under the age of ten. So um, these are really and it's sm small print. So I need my glasses. Okay, what does a nosy pepper do? Get jalapeno business. <laughs> Really? The 10 year old jokes get all the laughs? 10 weeks have been doing this, I don't get one laugh? All right. What do you call a fake noodle? An impasta. Move. What do you. <laughs> Let's start over. No. Uh, what happens if you eat yeast and shoe polish? Every morning you'll rise and shine. What's the difference between a guitar and a fish? You can't tune a fish. <laughs> this is... What, what is it called when a cat wins a dog show? A cat astrophy. A cat astrophy. Shh. Oh, that reminds me of an Irish joke I can't tell on TV. Uh, let's see. What do you get from a pampered cow? Spoiled milk. One more. <laughs> These are terrible. These are, oh boy. Well, what do you get if you cross a cat with a dark horse? Kitty Perry. Ta-da! <laughs> Nedra and Julio, everybody. Play some music. says I should stay like this in honor of Nedra today. <laughs> this witch is too loud. Oh, watch out, she's tough, man. She's tough. Man. Hold on, let me fix my thing here. So Bailey Burton, everybody. Bailey, Hi. Bailey, Bailey. How are you? Me. Thanks. It's nice to have you. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> We're done with that now. Fantastic. So Jackson Rancheria. Yes. And what do you do over there? I do special events, uh, special marketing events. and uh, sponsorships. <laughs> And, and, I and how long have you worked there? Uh, two years. And you just got married, right? I got married about a year and a half ago. Still on the honeymoon? Yes. And your husband's in Taiwan? <laughs> he is. Why? <laughs> uh, he's traveling Taiwan with Darren Sexton. They're having really? Beer. Yeah, they're having beers and and eating food and hanging out. Darren Sexton, Highway 49 band, provisions in Sutter Creek. Mm -hmm. Ever been anybody? Brandon yes. Brandon? 
big, big Great place. Great mm -hmm. place. Do you bartend there occasionally, I hear? Occasionally. Mm -hmm. I don't bartend, I hang out. And drink for free. Yeah. <laughs> good times. I love it. So, uh, usually what we do on uh, Fridays is we read tweets that people send to us. And some of these are funny, some of them are not. We're going to take turns reading a few of these. And I'll give you a couple. Can I give mm. me a couple? Mm. And um, we don't need to read who they're from. We just have to read them. So. Okay. Oh, by the way, I didn't, I didn't mention this. Uh, our fearless leaders, Tom and Sue, are not here today, but they're with us in spirit. If you haven't seen the <laughs> uh, pictures up there, uh, can you get a picture of those? They are here with us. <laughs> Bigger than life. Bigger than life. We love you, Tom and Sue. Uh, Tom couldn't be here. He cut himself shaving. Uh, he's got 14 stitches in both legs. And, uh, he's going to be so mad at me when I see them. I love you guys. Anyway. All right, so let's read a few of these. You go first. Um, note to self, don't scratch your butt. Oh, somebody actually Hashtag uh, gold cheeks. Gold cheeks. All right, good time. Right. No idea. I have no idea. <laughs> At a cemetery, looking for my name on tombstones. This is the goth version of Googling yourself. <laughs> Teach your kids to never give up and then see what happens when you take them to a toy store. Ha ha, you lose again. You lose! <laughs> my kid, I have four kids, and they're all older now, but my one son would spin around on one shoulder at the, at the grocery store if he couldn't have what he wanted. So I would, oh yeah, love that stuff, love that. <laughs> So, you know me, reverse psychology, I stand out in the middle of the aisle and scream in a loud voice, Ladies and gentlemen, my son will now perform for you. Take it away. Da, da. Good stuff. All right. The fun thing about having five kids is that by the time everyone is ready to go to the beach for the day, it's fall. I don't have kids, so these are all kind of funny. I'm beginning to think my kids are just using me for the snacks. They are. Oh, that's sad. It's my all-time favorite. Can we go back to using Facebook for what it was originally for? Looking up exes to see how fat they got? <laughs> Fun. Jay, or stalking. Yes. Everybody has a Facebook stalker. Yes. Mary Lou Molina. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Love you, Mary Lou. <laughs> Say hi to the doc for me. Uh, okay. Is Ebola a country? Now that is a smart kid. That's, that's sad, because she looks about 25. Is Ebola, <laughs> is Ebola a country? Mm -hmm. And you should move there. Yeah, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> Anyone that says there are no stupid questions has never had to explain to a five-year-old why there are no pink bananas 267 times today. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Um, I wish my kid followed my instructions as well as he follows Dora the Explorers. <laughs> right? Yeah. Clean up your room. No, Dora said, I'll punch you. <laughs> this is true. I hate those unrealistic movies where women are friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I and I think that I think I read this one already. I got expelled from school on pajama day. Not my fault I sleep naked. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, I haven't done these in a couple of weeks. This should be fun. Uh -oh. So these are called table topics. These are actually on my table. When you walk into my house, I have this box, and I always make people pick these when they come in. And they are <laughs> thought-provoking questions. Uh -oh. You get to pick one. Mm. Can't wait. If you could change one thing about the way you look, what would it be? Well, apparently... <laughs> Oh, we're not gonna I, go there. I, well, I do. I go to CrossFit like five times a week. You do. Mary Week kicks our butt. <laughs> right? Man. I can barely lift my arms today. Like, mm. I, I can't lift my arms either, but it's because the comics stayed up all night drinking. So, <laughs> how long have you been doing that? Uh, since November. I've been there like a month and a half. It's been, it's good. It's good. Anybody do CrossFit? Anybody? Anybody ever been to CrossFit? You do CrossFit? Yeah. You like it? Okay. Talk much? It kicks your butt. <laughs> it kicks your butt. Absolutely. It does kick your butt. I've gotten bad. I actually look at our workout before I go. I shouldn't do that anymore. My, my biggest fault is I weigh myself as soon as I get there every single day. Every day. You one, should, Mary says like once a month. I, I know. It's a bad habit of mine. I get up there and I'm like, oh my gosh, I put on 17 ounces. This is terrible. 
But then you work out and you lose it all because you're sweating so hard. No, because I'm throwing up is what I'm doing <laughs> CrossFit. You ever done a burpee? Uh, they're burpees. the worst. I hate burpees. They're the wor I burpee for Sarah. beer, though. Sarah, Sarah's expecting. She can't do burpees. No. She burps. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> you have any cravings being pregnant? Yeah, some, but... What? Uh, like, uh, like to kill your husband? Right. Sometimes. <laughs> Okay, one more, and then we're going to go to break. All right. Oh. What one question would you ask a psychic <gasps> about the future? Oh, I love this one. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I don't know. Six winning numbers? Come right, on. that's a good one. Pick something. I don't know. Uh, something. How, when am I going to die? After beer pong. There you go. After beer pong. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> I was going to date a psychic once, but she broke up with me before we met. Anyway, all right. We're going to go to break here in a minute. We're going to come back. We're going to play beer pong, and we're going to spin the wheel of death. Nedrin Julio, take us out. <laughs>